יהרצום מפניך השם אלוהי, כשם שעזרתני לסיים מסכת ברכות, כן תעזרני להתחיל מסכת תות וספרים אחרים, ולסיימן, ללמוד וללמד לשמור ולעשות ולקיים את כל דברי תלמוד תורתך באהבה. I've recited these words before with my students over the last 20 years many times. Um, but this week's Siyum with my intro level uh, Mishnah class was one that I will never, ever forget. I had so many hopes for this Siyum that we would be, in, if not in the classroom, then in the park, if not in the park, then in small groups. In the end, we learned, we studied on a, we celebrated on our own and made a virtual toast. But nevertheless, the, sea, the joy was so remarkable. Students brought their full self to the event, writing songs, creating art, even writing a rap. What I learned in this Mesechet Rachot is that Pesach is a Chag of resilience. Hare ani lo bichlal kabachivim. Unlike Rebbe Lazar ben Azariah, I am nowhere near 70 years old, and yet somehow Zachiti. Zachiti Shetem Mer Yitziat Mitzrayim Belelot. I merited saying Yitziat Mitzrayim at night. We've married an entirely new perspective on that Mishnah that we'll be reciting in the Haggadah next week. Maskirin Yitziat Mitzrayim Belelot means not just to mention the Exodus in Mariv, but also to really remember God's, God's redemption in the depth of darkness. This year, like no other in my memory, we'll be celebrating Pesach Mitzrayim. Barricaded in our homes and invoking divine protection as a plague ravishes outside and we pray and trust that God will skip over our homes. It's uncharted territory for me, but I take comfort in the survival tools bequeathed to me by my ancestors. We'll be striving to turn our homes into a sanctuary, a mizbeach ma'at, in the true sense, a miniature altar, in the true sense of the word. To really see one another as required when eating the paschal sacrifice. And to treat the night as a leil shimorim, a night of divine protection from which we can draw faith and trust and strength that will carry us through the rest of the crisis. And of course, even as we barricade ourselves in our home, we will try to remember not to insulate ourselves so much that Elijah cannot enter. I invite you all to uh, expand these themes with me much more in, my, in this week's podcast, Pardes in Jerusalem. Um, but over the last month, I've been exploring these themes together with the entire student body. It has been a stunning show of resilience on behalf of this year's Pardes community. The overwhelming majority of our students elected to stay here in Israel and to support one another and to continue our full course load virtually. And we've added opportunities to support one another with listening circles, uh, with morning prayers, including a very moving Hallel and Rosh Chodesh breakfast with Mayor and others. Communal Havdalah, check-ins, caretaking, um, and so much more. Even those students who very understandably elected to weather this storm with their families in North America, um, have participated so much in our community to share the snow out their window as we share the blossoming fruit trees out of ours. And it has been no small comfort that so many of you turned out for our online learning opportunities and for the beta run of our Per Day's Daily application. It was unfortunate prophetic intuition that we, when we chose or earlier this year, when we chose Chazak Vermatz, strength and resilience as our institutional theme for the coming year. But we have certainly been learning a lot from the ground. Thank you Hashem and, for this, and to the entire beautiful Pardes community for all of the strength that you have given me at this time. May it be a Shabbat Shalom and a uniquely meaningful Chag.